Audience Insights is a free tool within Google Ads. Advertisers can get a better understanding about what types of audiences make up the current audiences that you may have created within Google Ads for either your current campaigns or maybe considering testing for future campaigns. You will get more in-depth information to see if you're in, in line with the personas that you are trying to reach. So in this video, we will show you which campaigns can review Audience Insights information. We will show you, of course, where the tool lives, what type of information you can get, and some ideas you may want to consider about how you can use this information to optimize either current or future campaigns. This Paid Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. In Google Ads, there are a couple audience insights sections, but they work differently. I'm going to briefly cover the first option because that's not the audience insights I really have in mind, but it could still be valuable to you. Right now I have it filtered to just display campaigns in this client account, but I'm going to go up to this insights report section. And this is an area that Google is building out more and more. And at some point I'm sure we'll make videos about each of these individual sections. But in this insights area, if we want to find audience insights, I'm scrolling down and there you will find this particular audience insights section. Now again, I have it filtered by just display campaigns. So within this audience insight section, it's just showing me the segments that make up what I'm already targeting within my display campaigns. So there's the audience segment name, there's the audience type, and then you can go over and potentially see where this top audience segment may live in one of your campaigns. If I click on it, there's the name of the audience up there, and then it's showing me some information about the campaign that it's in. In this view, we only get information about clicks or impressions. So it's some insights, but not as robust as you may think. If you do think that this audience insight section is valuable to you, you can review it for search, shopping, performance max, display, and any video action campaigns. But when I think about audience insights, I like to use the tool in the audience manager section. So to do that, find tools and settings in your navigation, depending on what Google ads view you have, find the shared library section, and there you will see audience manager. If you're new to audience manager, here you will see all the segments that are created within your account, whether you've done them manually or you have them imported from GA4 or potentially a third-party source. Here you will also see where your custom segments are and if you're combining any of the Google audiences together. Now I know Google calls it data insights, but this was the original audience insights tool. And as of right now, I still find this tool to be more valuable than the one in the overall insights section of Google ads. So click on your data insights. And here's the section where you can get more in-depth information on who makes up the audience you're trying to review. The default option will be all converters. Whatever you have set up as a conversion within Google ads, that's an automatically created audience. So if you're looking to get more information about who makes up the converters on your website, this is a perfect place to start. The first section will be segment distribution. First, you will look at the demographics of who makes up this audience. There's gender, there's the age, there's parental status. Now due to privacy, a lot of this information may be suppressed or Google just flat out doesn't have it. So if you wanna include the unknown, you'll get an understanding of what's not included in the default demographics. Besides demographics, you can look at locations. This client account is targeting just the United States, but besides countries, in certain cases, you will be able to break down the location information by cities as well. This account is smaller, so we might not see any information here yeah, just as I expected. So on larger accounts, if there is much more audience information, you just have larger audience sizes, you'll be able to see deeper breakdowns here. But then let's look at devices. Just due to this particular industry and a limited client budget, we are maximizing just on computers. But again, if you have larger audience sizes or you are running everywhere, you'll be able to see other device information here as well. Now the next part is probably the more valuable part for your audience insights. Here in the relevant segment section, you will see which in-market segments and which affinity segments currently make up your all converters audience. So for the people who are now in my all converters audience, here are the top 10 in market audience segments. And then if I click over to affinity segments, now I see the top 10 affinity segments. 
So as I'm reviewing the all converters audience for this client, for the affinity segments, I see a few options that are very relevant to who this client wants to target. Business travelers, and most likely avid world news readers. Some of these might be a little bit too generic, but they are going after higher class business professionals with a lot of money. If we wanna be stereotypical, maybe frequently eats out at lunch. Stereotyping again, a lot of business professionals play golf. Going back to the in-market segments, a lot of people travel. However, if I'm looking at wealthy business professionals, we're seeing some expensive car brands on here. You gotta have money to buy some of these cars. So first, just reviewing these segments of people who've converted may help you confirm that you are getting in front of the right users. Are you solidifying the persona that you initially tried to reach? Not just because you're not seeing perfect audiences in your top 10, doesn't mean that you're totally missing the mark here, because clearly they're converting in this audience. But there's a couple things that you can do in this view. Let's say you're already running a display campaign and you find certain audiences that make perfect sense for who you're trying to reach, but you're not going after these specific audience segments yet. Let's go back to affinity segments. I said business travelers. You can highlight any of the top 10 segments in either of the views, and then you notice that you can add them to a particular ad group. Open up the menu, select ad groups, find the campaign that you wanna reach. I know it's not remarketing, I'm not actually gonna add this. You would select the ad group, click next, assuming you're adding this from a targeting perspective, but if you wanna layer on observation audiences for search, you could do that too. And then you'd be able to add the segments from this view. For now, I'm gonna cancel. So you can see this is a decent way for you to find new audience segments that you may wanna test in current or future campaigns. If I go back to the top, understand that you have more options than just all converters. As I highlight over this tab, you see that there's the edit pencil button. So click on this entire section, and within this audience details insights section, you can review any of the Google made audiences. I'm gonna open up website visitors and I'm gonna choose all website visitors. There's the segment distribution, scrolling down. I now see different audiences for the new segment that I wanted to get information. Now for people visiting the website, I'm seeing more audience options that are very relevant to who we're already trying to target. Accounting and finance jobs. Here's business loans, again, I can add these to campaigns if I'm not already targeting them. Let's look at affinity segments. Now we see business travelers, business news readers. Okay, so now we're sticking with the business part, but I'm also seeing in the in-market section as well as the affinity segment section that some of these audiences are repeating between the website visitors audience and the original all converters audience that we looked at. If I'm reviewing several different segments here and I'm seeing a similar theme of affinity or in-market segments, that might give me a decent idea of new audience to test to try to get in front of new customers. So let's say I reviewed several audiences that I already have created within Google Ads and golf enthusiasts or avid political news readers are showing up every single time I'm reviewing an audience. Maybe I should test out a higher level campaign to try to find more people who might be interested in what I'm trying to promote. I understand these are larger audience sizes and not everyone in these affinity audiences are gonna be interested in what I'm trying to promote, but I'm thinking it from the typical funnel perspective. This is a higher level, wider net I'm trying to capture. So then the people who do engage with my ad or click on the ad and go to my website, I'm getting them in other deeper audiences to use in other remarketing campaigns. But using this information can help me come up with better display campaigns to test instead of just searching and guessing. Going back up one more time, the first two I looked at were website visitor related, but if you've created any YouTube user audiences, let's say you're running YouTube campaigns, you're getting a lot of views from either your overall videos or maybe anyone who's viewed a video as an ad. Review segment information for these audiences. Or if you've uploaded a customer list, what persona information can you pull from the contacts that you have uploaded into Google Ads? Find similarities between these audiences. Consider targeting them in higher level campaigns. Or as we showed earlier, maybe add all of these segments, whether in market or affinity, as observation audiences in every single one of your search campaigns. How do these user personas match with the performance? Or if you're still running a lot of manual bid campaigns, can you add bid modifiers to these options within your search campaigns? Do you find out that you need to bid differently for certain demographics, locations, devices? Or in certain cases, you may see that you want to change how your ad copy is. If your segments are very sports related, very travel related, 
whatever, some sort of specific segment that you're seeing a consistent theme, can you come up with more fun ad copy, images, assets, whatever, that makes your ad creative more appealing to the audience that you're getting in front of or trying to get in front of. But as I'm consistently creating new audiences within Google ads, and you can check out this video here to look at your remarketing options within Google, I will come back and check on those new audiences to see if I can gain more information on if I'm already targeting the right user or get new ideas of what to test. So between the two audience insights sections within Google ads, hopefully you have some ideas already within your accounts of what you can do to better optimize your current campaigns or come up with new campaign ideas. If you have any questions about audience insights or you want to share some other cool tips and tricks that I did not talk about, let everyone know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.